back to my channel so today is gonna be a quick video i have to hurry up into this video because i have some review i gotta do my stop stop my dog he doesn't even do anything so this video is just gonna be to let y'all know um what happened to me first and foremost hendrix stop first and foremost this video is not to bash anyone or to like be negative or anything like that this is just experience just letting y'all know my experience with my eyelash extensions and just what happened to me and just in case this has happened to you or in the future happens to you just to spread awareness of my experience and what happened to me so yeah if you want to know what happened to me with lash extensions and why i can never get lash extensions again then just keep on watching I'm just gonna be doing my hair. Let me hear you put on this wig. <laughs> this wig cap. I am gonna be doing a video. <gasps> Y'all, this dog just pooped in my. This dog really just boo boo in my house. Y'all, oh my god, I got so much to do. Like, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot do with this fucking dog, bro. Come on, Hendrix. I was gonna show y'all his bad ass, but now I'm not. Get your it, bro. I don't even know what to do right now. He needs to get his ass whooped. You know what? Cut. You know what? I'm not gonna be able to see. It. on this hair so i'm not gonna be giving out hair details because y'all ain't gonna watch the video on the hair so um don't worry about this hair i'm gonna do a whole video on it but yeah just a little backstory i started getting lash extensions like back in like 2016 2015 before our lash extensions were even what they are now before they became so popular and everybody's like doing them and getting them like i had been getting them or whatever never had a problem i just stopped getting them because at one point in time i mean when i was getting them back then my extensions would make my eyes would make me get really bad like sleep in my eyes like once i went to sleep and i woke up it was a lot of sleep and i don't like all that crust in my eyes when i wake up it was just nasty and i didn't like it so i stopped getting them that was why I had stopped getting. So then, okay, boom. Fast forward to 2020. I started getting lash extensions. And I'm gonna insert pictures and things like that so y'all can see. But I started getting extensions in about uh when did I start getting extensions? I don't remember. <laughs> But I had been getting them for a little minute. Probably like August, September or something. Was I already? Or was it October? I don't know. Had to be like August or September. I don't really remember. But I had started getting them in 2020, right? So I had been getting them for a couple of months. Everything was going cool. Everything was good. Like, you know. I had been getting them or whatever. Well, it probably was August. Maybe it was like October, November. Maybe it was like October, November. But yeah. So fast forward, boom. Everything was going great. Everything good. I love my lashes. And let me say, I love my lash tech. She's so sweet. So professional. She's really good. She does the best work. And I always loved my lashes. She was so good or whatever. So um, yeah. But anyways, yeah. So then fast forward to about hmm, March. March comes around and mind you, like I'm not really like allergic to anything. I don't really have like allergies that really never affects me or whatever. But um, in March, I noticed, and I'm gonna insert pictures, my eyelids were like super puffy. I had got my lashes done one time and it was a feel. Woke up the next morning, my eyelashes are super puffy. So, my lashes are super puffy. I'm not really sure what's going on because they've never done this before. So, 
it was weird. So I text her and I'm think, cause I'm thinking, you know, maybe she switched up the glue. Maybe it was something that was done differently or whatever. Like, I don't know. I just wanted to check with her. So I text her and I'm like, hey girl, you know, da da da. Did you switch up the glue? She's like, no, I used everything the same. Nothing changed or whatever. Um, she even checked with the person that she buys the glue from to see if she switched up anything and she was like no so at that point i'm just like hmm you know like what's going on with me why so as the days go by like really like that next day as time goes by my eyes are itching like itching on fire so the lashes are just coming out coming out coming out coming out so mind you i just got these done and like at this point like 50 percent of my lashes are gone because my lashes are really highly irritated and yeah so then you know i get the um so then I, uh she's like oh i'm so sorry that they happened to you like you know once it um once you heal or whatever and then i'll be happy to like do you another set for free da 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 cool because you know she's like i told y'all super cute i mean i said super cute she is cute though but super professional um you know she was just like yeah i'll do you another one da 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 because at this point we're not sure what's going on this has never happened blah, 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 blah. so then um yeah, my eyes are just super itchy. I'm taking Benadryl. Benadryl is not helping it at all. It's really just like making me super sleepy and it's not helping or whatever. So that's why I'm like, um, I don't know if this is an allergic reaction because Benadryl would help, right? But it, it wasn't helping. It wasn't making it better. So I just wasn't sure, you know, what to do at that point. Um, because the Benadryl, like I said, was not working. So then okay so then i'm like okay we're gonna take it all out we took i mean eventually like all the lashes fell off um if you had lash extensions before then you know just pulling them off it hurts so i kind of was just letting them fall off i compressed my eyes and then they would just fall off and then you know like that or whatever so then time you know i ended up booking me an appointment to get like a full new set or whatever because we just like let's just see how it goes so then we see how it goes she does me a new full set hold on i hope i put this wig on straight <laughs> okay so she does me a full new set or whatever and um Okay, so she does me a new full set or whatever. And um yeah. So the next day it's the same thing. Like my eyes are like puffed up, swelled up, and like I said, I'm put insert pictures. But yeah, so my eyes are still doing the same thing they're really puffy and swole and swollen or whatever so yeah and irritated but this time the second time after the full set it wasn't that bad as it was the first time the first time they were super itchy irritated i was sneezing like it was just the whole nine like it gave me all the symptoms of an allergic reaction so my eyes were itchy puffy scratchy and they were just super irritated and i was just like oh you know like oh my god it was making like you know my nose be stopped up and, sh and stuff like that so then the second time it was not that bad but it, they were you know coming out they were you know because i had to compress my eyes they weren't as itchy but they were just like swollen you know like you could see my eyelids were just like even on like some of the pictures that i was taking like you could see like my eyelid was just like swollen. So, yeah. So then, 
Okay, I'm like, okay, well, you know, it's super, you know, I mean, it is spring. The pollen this year in Texas was really bad. And um, allergy season was a little worse this year in Texas. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe that's what it is. Even though I have no history of allergies, I'm not really a person that is allergic um, to, to things or whatever. But I'm just like, okay, maybe it has to do with allergy season. Maybe this is just, you know, something weird or whatever. So, yeah. So, then I was telling, so I texted her, you know, told her, da, 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 da. And then she, I, I was telling her, you know, I'm just going to try again. Because, y'all, at this point, I have been getting lashes stitches for months. And I've grown to love them. And, you know, I was just not wanting to give them up. <laughs> I was so hurt that this had happened to me but um yeah so i was like i'm just gonna try them again you know on my birthday or whatever that because my birthday is in june so at that point it's you know summertime we're not really in you know april and march where it's super allergy season or whatever um so i'm like yeah i'm just gonna try again on my birthday at this point we can just you know chill or whatever da da da, da. i've had to like cancel my field appointment da 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 so I'm reading online and because at this point I'm just like what could this be like how was this like all of a sudden because my job I got latch extensions in 2015 16 whenever that was none of this never happened it was just that I got sleep under my eyes really bad or whatever so that was it um and so then I'm online and I'm reading and this has happened to other people as well where it's just a sudden reaction where all of a sudden we are allergic to lash extensions like my they I, their eyes were just doing this all of a sudden so uh, yeah i was like you know what the f because i like i told y'all love my lash extensions so yeah so I'm looking online, people are saying that this has happened to them. They overall just had to, you know, try it again, take a break from them. Or some people said they just were never able to get them again. They were saying that it is something in the glue that you are allergic to. And it's in every type of lash glue. That's how the lashes, whatever this ingredient is, I forgot the name. I, if I find it again, I might put it below. But whatever the ingredient is to make lashes stick that's in the glue, that's what you're allergic to. And it's put, it's in every type of lash glue. And I even noticed that when I would put on strips, my lashes would get, my eye thing, my eyelid would even get a little puffy with using duo glue, like strip glue, kiss, you know, like strip glue. I don't think it was duo glue. I think it was, I think I used kisses by kiss their lash glue i don't like do it um but yeah so i'm just like bro what the f is in all and this is all of a sudden out of nowhere and that's what they were saying too people were saying like they had got lash extensions for like years and all of a sudden this is what happened to them my sister same thing happened to her she had been getting them for years all of a sudden she's allergic and hers was way worse than mine she ended up waking up one morning and her eyes were like she could barely open them she had to go to care now and get shot for hers hers was way worse than mine or whatever so yeah that's basically like that's basically what happened or whatever so they were just saying you know you could try some people were saying that they tried the sensitive glue like their last person you know tried like sensitive glue for them and it worked for them or whatever which is just cool or whatever it's good for them that they you know can continue to get it or whatever get them um and then some people like i said were just like they had to stop cold turkey like they just can't get lashes again so it's I, that made me feel a little more comforting that i wasn't the only one that ex had experienced this which I don't even know why, because like I said, I'm not someone that's allergic to things like that. Um, so yeah, this was just suddenly. Out of nowhere. I'm allergic. 
to whatever is in the, the last clue. So then I fast forward, boom, I got them on my birthday. Cause at this point, it's June, it's no longer, you know, that season for allergies. Got them for my birthday, went to California. Yeah. <laughs> It basically ruined my birthday. Well, I don't even want to say it ruined my birthday, but the first day I got them done, like on, I left for California on like a Sunday. I got them done on that Saturday. Um, Sunday, I get to California. We land. All of a sudden, my eyes are literally, we at a pizza place. All of a sudden, my eyes are literally on fire. Like my eyes are on fire. They are super itchy and i'm just like oh my god i'm at the table rubbing my eyes they're just falling out falling out falling out falling out falling out i'm going like this and they're literally just coming out coming out coming out coming out coming out i'm inside the picture one of my eyes was basically nothing basically my eyes were super puffy like this my entire trip um they didn't really just heal until tuesday my actual birthday i got out there on sunday they were puffed up until about tuesday that's when they were finally down and i and i was thankful for that because i was able to wear lashes on my birthday monday night i didn't even want to go out because i mean literally if you if you follow me on social media then you know I had on shades, I, and thank God for shades, thank God for sunglasses, and thank God that I had already bought shades to match with pretty much all of my, like, day outfits or whatever, because had I not had, like, shades to match with all, you know, like, all of my day outfits, I pretty much would have been, like, <laughs> wearing the same shades the whole time, but, yeah, I had shades on the entire trip because... My eyes were literally messed up. Like, you did not see my eyes that entire trip until Tuesday on my birthday. Tuesday night, I was fine. And I put on fake lashes because, baby, oh, well. <laughs> Beauty hurts, okay? So, uh, but they, they wasn't bad at all. Um, I didn't even want to go out Monday night because I didn't have any shades to match my dress. And I had a dress to wear on Monday night. And I didn't have any shades to match them. And my um my outfit, it just wouldn't have looked right with any of the shades that I had. And I didn't want to go out with no lashes on. Because it just, I can't take pictures. And I, it just wouldn't, it, I just, yeah. So, Monday night we did not go out. That's the only bad, I mean, I feel like that's the only night that I kind of feel like, ugh. I wish, you know, but it was cool because Tuesday night we went out, we had a blast. The whole trip overall was so much fun. Like, I really had so much fun. Shout out to my girl, Nicole. We had fun. I always travel with her, just the two of us. That's like my travel partner. So, we always have fun. It don't have to be a big group of us, just the two of us, and we be having fun. But it was fun, regardless of my eyes being swollen the entire time. Just if it happens to you, I would definitely say take a break from them. And, I mean, if you want to try it again, you can. But nine times out of ten, you're not going to be able to get them anymore if that happens to you. My dog is so annoying. Right? <laughs> He's really so embarrassing. I don't want to let him in here because I'm going to have to put him in his cage because he pooped in the house and then y'all really gonna be able to hear him cry but <laughs> yeah so um like i said if it happens to you you are not gonna be able to get them anymore so just let them go um lash extensions they were so convenient that's why i like them if this has happened to you before let me know my oh and also when I got them done for my birthday, my last text, she did use sensitive glue that time. And that still didn't work um, for me, the sensitive glue. When I was researching it, some people were saying that 
that their lash tech just used sensitive glue for them. Some people said it worked, some people said, you know, they still couldn't get it. Uh, Sensitive glue that still did not work. It was still messed up. And you just don't have to let it go. Let it go. Um, so, yeah, it was really a tragedy. I was hurt. <laughs> I really was. Because I loved my lash extension. Lash extensions, I really loved them. They were so convenient to just wake up and just be, you know, I already had lashes on. Doing my makeup, I had to worry about putting on lashes. That inner corner, acting crazy. I just didn't have to worry about that. Hendrix! He's so embarrassing. We have be quiet. But, um, yeah. I had to... Um, yeah, they were just so convenient or whatever to have, and now I just can't get them anymore. So, yeah, if this has, oh, this was too much conditioner. If this has happened to you before, let me know in the comments what you did. Do you still get them? <laughs> Hopefully you don't. That was too much. This is too much condition. Yeah, but just being able to like wake up in the morning and yeah, to be able to just hop up out the bed, turn my swag on. Look, you know, I'm never say what's up, but now I can't do that. Because it made my lash. And like I said, even when I use like regular glue for lashes, that's why I'm not putting on no makeup in this video. I am going to start back wearing makeup. I'm just giving it a little break. My birthday nails were so cute. They are not cute anymore. <laughs> well, not that they're not cute anymore. They're just old. But, yeah. And like I said, this is not to bash anybody. This is no one's fault or place to blame on anybody. This is just my experience. Just in case you had something like this happen to you before and you weren't sure what was going on because i was confused when it first happened i'm just like i'm not allergic to nothing why is this happening to me why am i experiencing this right now um yeah why is why is this happening to me Um, and what do y'all do if this has happened to you before? I, is it is it with all lash glue, or is it just with this? But I am going to, like I said, start back wearing makeup because honestly, when that's happening to you, you're not supposed to be putting on like makeup. You're just supposed to let your eyes heal at that point. And um, not be wearing makeup and not making it worse. So, let me know if this has happened to you before and what did you do? And just to bring awareness, like I said, not to bash anybody, but to bring awareness just in case it does happen to y'all <laughs> one day 
hopefully it does and hopefully all of y'all get to continue to get y'all large extensions. I know how much I loved mine. But I was just happy to see that I was not the only person going through this. Yeah. I don't want to say that it like ruined my trip, but I mean, it didn't ruin it. Cause like I said, luckily, thank God for shades. But at the end of the day, um, y'all can never get lashes extensions again i'm never trying it again i'm not gonna try nobody else because i it's not it wasn't it's not the last check that's the problem it's the fact that i'm allergic so no matter who i go to is <laughs> if they using glue which all of them are then i can't it's not gonna work for me no matter who i go to because i'm allergic to whatever is in the glue so Changing last text or whatever is not gonna work. My boyfriend is texting me telling me to come on. <laughs> so, luckily I'm pretty much done. But, yeah. So, I just want to share with y'all why I'm not getting lash extensions anymore and my experience and if you've had something similar then you can relate or if you know somebody or if it happens to you in the future, you will know what's going on. So, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And I hope that this video was helpful to some of y'all or just, you know, informed y'all about something, you know, um, something to watch out for when you are considering lash extensions, whatever the case may be. Hope it helps. And yeah subscribe to my channel subscribe we're finally at 200 subscribers so thank you to everybody who has subscribed to me new subscribers old subscribers everybody anybody thank you watch some more videos and i'll see you guys in my next one i know my hair is not finished but i gotta go <laughs> uh I gotta go. Cause my boyfriend is like, where you at? But yeah. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and bye.